Hi, my name is Margaret. In this video, I want to show how to pass arrays as parameters to a method. I'm going to start by declaring a string array and I call it verbs. And I'm going to initialize it with a couple of verbs like go, um, run, play, and work. And now I'm going to write a method and my method is going to be called print array. So here I have a private method. It's static, void. I just call it print array. And I'm going to pass a string array. And here I just say it has words, whatever those might be. And inside I'm going to use a uh, for each loop because I want to print all of the words. So I say for each string w in words and I'm going to print each of these words separated by a blank. So I say system out print f percent s because we have a string also blank to keep a little space in between and here comes my word because w is of type string. Now we have a method defined and now I'm going to call this method in my main uh, method and I'm going to pass verbs as my argument. So at this point I'm going to compile and to run and you can see go run play work. I want to give you a second example. So in this example I'm going to declare an array and my array is of type short. So integer has 32-bit, short is 16-bit whole number. So here we have an array of shorts, I just call it numbers and I initialize it with something like 7 um, three nine one five and I'm going to write another method my method is called array product because it calculates the product of all array elements once again it is private because we don't plan to access it from outside of this class it's static because we want to call it from within the static main method and uh, this time it's actually returning a value it's returning as a value the product of all the array elements and because products tend to get big really fast I want to return a long uh, so here I have my return type is long I call it array product and I'm going to pass as my parameter a um, short array and let's just call it numbers and once again I'm going to use my for each loop so I say for each short n in numbers I'm going to multiply the number to my last product so I have to declare here a variable of type long I call it product and initialize it with the value 1. The reason I declare my product as type long is because I made a commitment to return a long value. So here I have product of type long. At the beginning my product is 1 but as I read the different numbers from my shoulder array I keep multiplying them to my product. So I say product times equals n. And just as a reminder, this is the same as product is product times n. So this is the compound operator, just a nice concise way to express this very statement. And at the end, I'm going to return my product. So here I say return product. 
and we want to test it here in a main method so I'm creating a product variable I'd call it product and I'm assigning array product from numbers at this point I have the result right here in my variable but I'm going to print it out so we can actually see it so I say system out print f and I say product is percent d because that's a digit it's a whole number and here comes my product so let's see how that looks like And I can see there's a typo somewhere. Um, now we have fixed it. Let's run. So here you can see the words that we printed out before and right next to it the product 945. You can convince yourself that 945 is 7 times 3 times 9 times 1 times 5. The last change I want to make is a new line between my two different outputs. And I like to make the new line right here inside my print array method because this way it prints all the elements and then it advances to the next line. So here I say system out print line. And when I run my program again, I can see two lines, go run, play work. This is the output of print array. And then product 945, this is the output of my array product. This was it for now. See you next time.